Julio Jones gets traded to the Titans for a second round pick, a fourth round pick, and uh, and the Falcons get a sixth round pick in return, I believe. What does this mean for the Titans? This means they have the best trifecta in the NFL. Julio Jones with Derrick Henry and Brown. That's that's just elite. AJ Brown on one side. You have Julio Jones on the other. You have Derrick Henry, probably the best running back in the NFL in the backfield. Whew. If you're a Tennessee Titan fan, you should be excited. You should be ecstatic. You should be buying season tickets. This offense is going to be electric. Uh, for Tannehill, the pressure just goes up. Uh, you, you've been a great Cinderella story from going to Miami Dolphins, being the afterthought of that 2012 draft class where you had Andrew Lug, you had RG3, and then you had yourself. RG3 is basically out of the league. Luck is retired. You're the only quarterback left of those three. And it looked like you were going to flop with the Miami Dolphins. You come you come to the Titans. You take the job from Mariota. Uh, you have a great season or a great rest of the half of that season that you took over. You had a great last season. You get the money. You get paid. I think you're getting paid $29 million per year now. Just ridiculous, crazy turnaround of a career. Shout out to Tannehill for doing that. Especially because he was a wide receiver in college, if you didn't, if you don't know that. But now the pressure is on. You got AJ Brown, you got Julio Jones, you got Derrick Henry. If the Titans offense isn't lighting up everybody, it's there's one person to blame, and it's Tannehill or the offensive coordinator. And I've heard great things about the offensive coordinator, so Tannehill needs to step it up. I think he will. Uh, he's had two great seasons. The numbers are there to back it up. He's been like one of the best quarterbacks behind. Uh, Patrick Mahomes this last season and a half so I do believe in Tannehill or I want to believe in him but I would not be surprised if he flops but I want to wish him the best I think he will succeed and the Titans just become uh they're either the third or the fifth best team in the AFC now uh, it's it's the it's the Chiefs at the top the Bills are still up there Josh Allen is a great quarterback um and and they had a great season I think they'll continue to be good this season but after that uh, you could either put the Ravens, you could put the Browns, and you could put the Titans, the Colts. I have the Titans as the number three best team in the in the AFC after this. They are legitimate AFC contenders. Um, if you have AJ Brown, if you have Julio Jones, if you have Derrick Henry, what are you going to do? Are you going to double Julio? Are you going to double AJ? And if you do, now you can't put eight in the box for Derrick Henry. And it's just, it seems like a disaster. You get the play action going. You can go deep to AJ. You could go deep to Julio Jones. If they still had John o. Smith, that would be crazy. That would be a, a, a just insane, insane offense. But I, they let him go. Now they have Julio Jones to replace him. Um, what do you guys think? Do you, do you think this is a good move? You guys think Julio Jones is going to get injured again? I believe he, he missed like 11 games last year. Or he only played like seven games. I think he still has um, something left on the tank. I think he still he could still provide a lot for the Titans. When healthy, he's definitely like top three wide receivers in the NFL, um, top five minimum. But AJ Brown and Julio Jones, they're the best one-two punch in the NFL as far as wide receivers go. And their defense, their defense wasn't that great last year, but you know, hopefully they do better this year. Uh, but more and more, the NFL is shifting towards an offensive-based league. You need more weapons. You need more wide receivers. You just need to score more points. And now the Titans get a bona fide star at the wide receiver position um, to go along with their other rising superstar of a wide receiver, that A.J. Brown. He's a pro bowler. He's the one that helped recruit uh, Julio Jones. Like he said, let me, let me help you, help me, help you. And I think uh, he got it done. A.J. Brown is a great recruiter. Uh, the Titans pulled the trigger, and I think that they're going to be scary. Like, if, if you're in the AFC South, if you're the Colts, if you're the Jaguars, um, if you're the Texans, like, this is scary. Like, Julio Jones has at least three three to four good years left, in my opinion, if he's able to stay healthy. I know he's had a lot of injury concerns, but he's he's a specimen, 6'3", uh, 4'4", 40, build just like a Greek goddess. He can still get it done, in my opinion. Um, I'm very excited. Like, the Titans now just become one of those teams that's 
uh, most watched TV. Like, if you're a fan of offense, if you're a fan of wide receivers, you know, making nice catches, um, if you're a fan of running backs, running over people, the Titans just become must watch TV. I'm very excited. What do you guys think? Did the, the Titans give up too much? Did they give up too little for the Falcons? Uh, I think most fans expecting them to get a first, but pundits were saying a second at most. And in the end, it was a second and a fourth. Um, it's crazy that Hopkins and Julio Jones both went for second round picks. Um, Hopkins kind of commented on it in a podcast, I believe. He was saying that there's no first rounders that are coming into the league that are better than them. You kind of give uh, Jefferson some props, but I think they're right. There's not too many wide receivers better than Julio Jones and Hopkins still to this day. And I, for one, I was surprised that the market wasn't as hot for Julio Jones. I would have given up. I mean, I'm, maybe that's why I'm not a GM in the NFL. But if I think I'm close, I would have given up a first for Julio Jones. I, I applaud the Titans for pulling the trigger, for putting their chips in the middle. Like, that's that's a that's a ballsy move. Because imagine if uh, like if the Patriots would have done it. Like, I'm pretty sure the Patriots could afford a second-round pick. Like, why, why didn't they pull the trigger, man? You put Julio Jones with Hunter Henry, John U. Smith, whoever you want to put at running back, and uh, whoever is the quarterback. Like, that's just Mac Jones will, will be set up for success. Or if uh, Cam Newton's going to have a, a bounce-back season, like, that's the way to really – get it done bringing in julio jones the packers want to you know make amends with aaron Rodgers. we'll touch on aaron Rodgers in a little bit like that was the perfect way to send like hey here take my second i want julio jones or anybody and man can you imagine if the chiefs had given up a second round pick you put julio jones next to tyreek hill with travis kelsey in the middle like there's just endless possibilities there's a lot of teams that should have given up a second maybe the seahawks i don't know if they even have their second next year but you put Julio Jones ne- next to DK Metcalf, Russell Wilson will be static. He'll be happy. But in the end, it was the Titans who did it. I applaud the Titans for pulling the trigger. I don't think they gave up too much. And in fact, I think it was a fair trade. If anything, I think the Titans won it. I, I really rate Julio Jones still very high. I might look like a fool. He might just get injured again. He does have an injury history. He might just consistently play like eight to 10 games the rest of his career and I'll look like a dumbass and the Titans will look like they gave up too much but I have faith in Julio Jones hopefully he can stay healthy hopefully he can stay on the field and now the Titans are legitimate AFC contenders what do you guys think though let me know